Kendra so today I filmed a makeup tutorial for you guys and I feel like it's been a long time since I've done like a sit down just by myself makeup tutorial. I hope I wasn't too rusty in this video because I feel like it just has been too long since I filmed one. I feel like I've been doing like a lot of chit chat makeup related videos with Kelsey like us together but I don't think I've done one by myself since we've moved in this house. So this is the look that I did today because you guys have been requesting this look quite a lot. Every time I wear it, you guys ask about this look in particular. So I decided to do it for you guys, this nice matte, bolder matte look. So I wanted you guys to see how I did it. This was also kind of like a chit chat makeup tutorial as well. So I did some chitting and chatting, if that's even a word. Let me know if you wanna see more makeup tutorials because sometimes when I, Used to put up makeup tutorials, not a, a lot of people didn't watch them, but other people would request the looks that they see, so that would confuse me. Let me know if y'all want more makeup tutorials and if you're actually going to be watching them. Because, you know, I don't want to be sitting here for no reason, you know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, so we're going to start with the face, and I'm going to be going in with this Sicily Primer and my Fenty Pro Filter Foundation. I always just do like two pumps in the center of my face like this just because a little bit goes a long way and this is very expensive so I don't want to waste it. And I always just start in the center of my face. I'm just using an old e.l.f. foundation brush. You can use your hands but I just, I've been trying not to touch my face as much because my skin is finally clearing up and I feel like when I touch my face too much that's when I break out so I just prefer to use brushes instead of my fingers but of course Make sure they're clean, obviously. I need another one of these because I'm obsessed with this foundation. It's like one of my favorites. And I'm gonna be using a brush today instead of a beauty blender. This is the Morphe E6. on I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes for right now I tend to do my makeup in this order a lot just because I just in case I have to clean up the eyes with concealer I don't like to finish the face or anything because it's just a hot mess when you do it when I do it in that order so I'm just gonna move on to the eyes so we're gonna prime the lids this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and this is Eden this is the only one I like the other one is too shimmery it's just it's unnecessary who needs glitter and a primer okay so for eyeshadow I'm gonna be using two eyeshadow palettes because that's what I remembered using when I did this look I hope I remember how to do this because I don't have it memorized I just kind of laid out my stuff and just wanted to go for a matte look that day so I'm gonna try my best to get it exactly like I had it in that video I forgot which video it was now that I think about it so hopefully I remember how to do this look because I just remember the two palettes and not the color. So I'm just going to eye out the colors and try to, you know, get it spot on as best I can. So I'm going to be using two eyeshadow palettes. The first one I'm going to be using is this KKW X Mario eyeshadow palette. So this is the um, one with the blue one in it. So I'm going to be using this one. And then the main palette that I'm using for this look is the Morphe 3502 palette. Look at those beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm just obsessed with this palette. Okay, so I think I went in with this shade first. So I think I'm gonna be using these three shades, one, two, three, and then I just kind of rotate between those two, but I'll let y'all know. Just gonna start in the outer corner and then just kind of go in the rest of the front part of my eye, in the crease, of course. Kind of blend this is a MAC 224 I feel like a broken record every time I talk about this brush but who watched the Grammys on Sunday Kelsey and I watched it on Monday just because we had it recorded and I don't like watching anything with commercials um, I like to fast forward you know through what I'm watching so we watched it the day after so I was tweeting about it but my tweets were like a day late so um, yeah I enjoyed it. I loved uh, that Alicia Keys hosted. I love Alicia Keys. Kelsey and I grew up listening to her music. Like, I've been down with Alicia since Fallen. She did a great job hosting. This was my first time seeing her host anything. So she did a really, really, really good job. Her actual performance was one of my favorites when she 
did the two pianos. I thought that was so dope. I know that it's been done before. I forgot her name. Somebody showed it on Twitter, the person who originally did it, the woman. I forgot her name. Um, but I like that Alicia put her own twist, you know, put her own swag to it. Like, I, I appreciated that. And she is just so talented. Like, she was singing everybody's songs better than they did their own songs. Like, her, um, her ear, like, her talent for sound is just amazing. So, Alicia was a bomb. I loved her. You guys let me know who was your favorite. Her was really, really good. I loved her, her performance. She did a really great job. I love her anyway. Um, Kelsey and I have been listening to her for a minute, like when she had like mixtapes and we've been listening to her for a while. So I love her. She's so talented, love her. I also love Georgia Smith. She was nominated. I didn't even realize she was gonna be nominated. Georgia Smith, I love her music as well. They have like really good like chill music. Um, I love that her is bringing back R&B, like that sound. I feel like this generation needs to hear like something other than you know, no offense, but like Migos, I'm just saying, like Migos is good every now and then, but I feel like when we came up, R&B was like a thing. And I feel like I'm glad that her is keeping it alive. Like I just love, R&B is one of my favorite um, styles of music. Obviously I love hip hop too, but R&B is like, I will love it forever. And I grew up listening to it. My mom listened to it when we were little. So I, I will always love R&B music. And then I'm gonna go in with this color and then a shorter brush, what is this? The MAC 217. So as you guys can see, I'm just going in windshield wiper motions in the crease, but I'm still focus, focusing most of the product in the outer corner, just because that's what I remember doing. Cardi's performance was really good. I love the visual like that she had with all her dancers. That was so dope, love that. But it was a great, great show. It was very long, so. I wasn't paying attention to everybody, but those are the ones that stood out the most to me um, was her and Alicia Keys. They did a great job, love both of them. And like I said, Alicia did a great job hosting. But one of the Grammys that I loved the most was when Kendrick performed one year. I think it was the year before last, was it two years ago or three? Kendrick Lamar performed and I loved, loved that performance. It was so dope. You guys let me know who was your favorite. I know some of y'all will agree with her Cause she just did so bomb. I don't know how many times I can say that, but she's just bomb. So the next color I'm going in is this one. Yeah, that one. And this is a, what is this? It's a brush. It just has a pointy tapered edge and we're just gonna go in a little deeper here. I'm just trying to keep the reddish tones, but I'm trying to go a shade darker with each one as I apply the color. Okay, so I'm gonna put on a brow bone shade and then get back to blending because I feel like this red is getting a little too high. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm very in there. I wish these colors had names, but this one is the best phrase I can do for the colors because they don't have names. So I'm just gonna go with that. And then go back in with the blending brush. That's something I like to do is go in with a lighter shade on the brow bone and then blend the transition color into that so it can look more seamless and less harsh. Oh, also, are you guys watching The Bachelor? Because I was excited to watch the season because I did like Colton on Becca's season, but it's getting really annoying. I'm seeing like a pattern. He has like a basic type. I'm just gonna be honest. The last Bachelor that I really, really liked was Nick. And I, I knew he was gonna pick Vanessa. I was kind of disappointed when it didn't work out because I predicted that he would pick her. They just seemed really compatible. Like I loved him and Vanessa together, but I just feel like there's been a pattern with the bachelors picking people that they, that they don't end up staying with. Um, they always end up, you know, breaking up. And I feel like the bachelorettes, as been, being women, make the better decisions for some reason. If y'all have been watching the Bachelor Bachelorette series, you guys have been noticing that the Bachelorette's choices have been lasting longer than the Bachelor's choices, like they always end up not working out. So hopefully Colton doesn't do the same thing because I'm very confused with what's going on. I do like Cassie. I'm not gonna lie. Cassie, I love, I love Kaylin. Both of the Hannahs are kind of uh, forgetful. One, um, it's so weird because both of them are from Al from Alabama, but both of them don't do anything for me, like at all. I feel like I can't take Hannah B. Yeah, the one who was Miss Alabama. I can't take her serious. She just, I don't know. 
she just never seems like she's being herself. She's, she tries too hard to me. Something about her, she's just trying too hard. I feel like she always does the most, like in the group dates. It's just like she's trying too hard to impress him, like eating bugs and fish eyes and stuff. I was just like, you don't have to do all that to get somebody to like you, like you just don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go on with the lid color and that shall be this one because I feel like this palette doesn't have anything that's like stark, like not quite white, but like an off-white. It's not off-white enough for me. So I'm gonna go on with this one. What is this? This is Decade. I remember this look having a lighter lid. It wasn't quite like a nude. It was more on the whiter tone. So it made the ready tones pop even more. So I'm gonna go halfway. So on like the inner part and toward the middle, don't worry about the harshness. We're gonna blend that out. And I was also really surprised that he sent Katie home last night because Kelsey and I watched it last night and he kept the Heather girl because she's only been kissed once and she came on the show never being kissed. I feel like that gave her a one-on-one -on -one with him just because she, her storyline was that she's never been kissed. So they were just making that storyline like that whole date was for her to get kissed by Colton for the first time. Let's just be honest. If y'all don't watch The Bachelor of the Season, then you have no clue what I'm talking about. But if you do know what I'm talking about, then let me know if you think that Heather got a one-on-one -on -one for that reason. Because I don't know if he's as into her as he is some of the other girls that I've noticed. Like, I can just tell with him on one-on-one. -on -one. Like, it was so awkward. The episode from last week, I don't know, something was awkward about it. It was like silence oh fireworks we should kiss it wasn't natural at all so i'm gonna take another 217 this is a different one and kind of blend the two together like this but i like katie but i do feel like she was kind of holding back she was very distant i still feel like she should have stayed over heather because they're supposed to get engaged at the end of this and there's just no way she's ready to be a wife when she just got kissed for the first time. It's just, there's no way. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the eyes in a minute. But I'm just going to go ahead and go in with some concealer. And I'm going to set that. The concealer I'm using is the Fenty Beauty Concealer, the new Pro Filter Concealer. If you guys have not seen it, Kelsey and I did do a review on this as well as the powder. And if you're interested in what we thought about both products, then clearly I kind of gave this one away. You can clearly see that I really like this concealer. But if you want to see how this and the powder both work, then go check that video out. This is in the color 430. So I'm just going to go in under the eyes with that. I love this concealer. Spoiler alert. But I'm not surprised that I like it because I love the foundation. The foundation is like one of my top favorite foundations. So I'm not surprised. Is that a hair? So annoying. Is that my eyelash? And we're just going to balance everything out and just put some on the forehead and the chin. But I need to blend it out quick so it doesn't look so harsh. So I'm going to use this Fenty foundation brush, this 110 brush. So I'm just going to start on the forehead because I don't want as much coverage there. The longer you let the concealer dry for some reason, I feel like it's more full coverage. It doesn't like blend away as fast. So I'm just going to do my under eyes last. And something that I've been doing so that my concealer doesn't crease is I will get whatever powder I'm using ready. So I won't be doing all this while it's already blended because that's when it'll start to crease for me at least. Um, this is the Huda Beauty. What is this called? The Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. This is in the color Kunafa. Yeah. So I really like this, but I don't like it uh, for like when I'm going out at night because it does have flashback. But I do like the look of the actual powder. I like the matteness and I like how flawless it looks. So I do like that, but I just wish it didn't have flashback. But it is a really nice powder and there's a lot of color options. So if you're looking for a setting powder with a lot of shade options and you don't really mind like the brighter under eye look in photos, then you would love it. But it's a really good like daytime powder to me also. And this powder also has a fragrance, like it has a, a very distinct, potent floral smell. It smells like, like your grandma's powder, 
mixed with like her perfume like when it was in her purse like if y'all had the kind of grandma who powders her nose like i do then that's what it smells like if you don't like scented things i don't really prefer scented makeup it's just unnecessary you wouldn't like that so just a heads up but i do like the yellow undertone and like how it makes you look more awake so but i feel like you shouldn't leave it on too long if you don't want to look too too bright if you just want like a quick you know wake me up kind of look but you don't need to leave it on forever it does have directions on the back so it says pack under the eye t-zone corners of the mouth and chin let set slash bake for three to five minutes three dust excess powder so it does have instructions which is really helpful if you don't know how to bake and you don't know where to start it's good like beginner friendly baking powder so she was very smart for that and if you guys are like new to makeup and you don't really know that much about baking baking is just going to make your makeup last longer and it's going to make you look more airbrushed and it's also really really beneficial if you have oily skin like me put that there for now and i'm gonna go back to the eyes for now also, I feel like power was supposed to come back by now. Is it just me or I feel like it's been like too long? I feel like they're taking too long because I'm having withdrawals. If you guys watch power, let me know. I'm just asking y'all all kind of stuff y'all watch. That's how I feel like we get to know each other better. That's how I base if I like someone or not, what they watch. Because if we can't like, if we don't can't talk about the same shows, then it's kind of awkward, right? So I'm gonna blend a little bit more, um, blend out this, these inner, shadow so they don't look very harsh but i did want to go in a little bit more during this one i did want it to look a little bit more dramatic so i don't remember if i did this the first time i did this look the one that you guys requested but it's an addition so just go with it okay so we're gonna move on to the eyes I'm gonna go in with some mascara this is the milk makeup mascara and then i'm gonna apply some lashes these i have already used so they're just in my cute little lash holder lash case i got this from you guessed it amazon and these lashes are the ardell mink lashes they're the 3d mink ones i forgot the number but they're 3d mink ones so if you're looking for them they have them at ulta kelsey gave these to me um, when she got some so i love these but i also wear a lot the lava lashes i think that's the name of them i tag them all the time and some of my Instagram pictures when you guys ask about my lashes. So those are really good lashes. on I can start back talking I can't be talking when I put my lashes on I just have to focus y'all know if y'all wear false lashes you can't you know do too much you have to just concentrate so I'm just gonna sweep away this powder like I said I don't want it on too long and as you guys can see you can already see the brightness that it leaves but yeah back to power I'm excited for power to come back I'm really confused about what's gonna happen like it can go any which way like it just could go like you don't know what to expect with powers but that's why i love it because it's so unexpected y'all let me know what y'all think is gonna happen but maybe not because you might spoil it for the people who haven't watched power if you do not watch power then you should probably start um have you a, a little marathon it comes on stars i think it's stars right it's stars yeah i feel like all of the shows that kelsey and i have been watching i feel like they all go off at the same time and they all come back on at the same time like, I feel like Jane the Virgin has been gone for, like, over a year. Like, it's been too long. So, I'm ready for Jane the Virgin to come back because that ending was just too much for me. That The season finale, it was too dramatic. I couldn't handle it. So, we're going to go on with the regular color powder to balance everything out because, of course, I'm not going to leave it like this. This is the Lancome Long Time No Shine Powder. This is in the color Deep. 
I think this is the darkest one that they have for this one. But I like this as an all over powder. It's so weird because most of like my all over like color powders are like pressed. And this one is loose. And I'm used to my loose ones being like a under eye setting powder. So it's kind of different for me. And we're going to be taking this Kevin Aquan powder brush. This is one of my favorite powder brushes. I got it during the VIB sale at Sephora last year. Love it. So I'm just kind of pack that on like that. Also, How to Get Away with Myrtle came back. We've been watching that, but we've been watching it on Hulu. I never watch it when it premieres. So I feel like we're always behind on the episodes lately. So we're still watching that. Oh, also Kelsey and I just finished, well on Netflix, we just finished the first two seasons of Riverdale because you guys know Kelsey and I are, are addicted to Pretty Little Liars. It's like our all time favorite show. Like. You, everybody has their show that they can just binge watch over and over and not get tired of it. That's it for us, Pretty Little Liars. Um, I don't want to watch Gossip Girl because I feel like it's not my kind of show. I don't think it's for me. A lot of people are addicted to Gossip Girl. It's just, I feel like I would be cheating on Pretty Little Liars. I felt like that watching Riverdale, but I'm not watching Gossip Girl. So. But Riverdale is actually really, really good. I love it. So... I wasn't expecting it to be what it is, but I really like it. So we just finished that. I know season three is on TV right now, but I hate watching stuff on TV because after like you watch an episode, I like to move on to the next thing. The privileges of Netflix. I feel like Netflix just spoils people. Like the, the homebody me is spoiled by Netflix because I just need instant gratification when it comes to the episodes. I just need to see it right now. I don't like to wait the next week. Um, so, because I feel like you do that with your other shows like Power and you know, the How to Get Away with Murder. You always have to wait weekly for those. But when it comes to shows like Riverdale, I feel like it's better to watch in a marathon kind of way. Is it just me? Also, we finished You. We, we watched it separately though. Kelsey watched it before I did. And then I watched it after her. Like we watched it separately, like in our own rooms, like on our own time. It kept my attention, but that show is crazy. Like it's so bizarre and just kind of nuts, really. Like he was a legit stalker, but then he had a lot of good qualities about him that made you be like, oh, well, like he's not all bad, but at the same time you're like, he's a killer. If you guys have not watched you, if you're into like a thriller, also kind of like romance, suspense, kind of like type show, then you would like you, but if not, then don't watch it. It's not a show that I would watch like over and over. It's a show that I would like want to get through the episodes just to see what happens and then be done with it. It's not a show that I'm going to be like binge watching over and over again. Like, I don't think that's what I would do with that show. But I do recommend you watch it if you're curious about what everybody's been talking about. So... I recommend watching it. Now I'm ready for season two because I just want to know what's going to happen now. We are also going to go in with some bronzer since I'm already on the face. I'm going to go in with this Anastasia bronzer, the mahogany powder bronzer, and then I'm going to contour a little bit with it. I do a mix. I don't like crazy harsh contour, but I don't like a crazy just, you know, super warm bronzer either because I'm already, you know, brown and I don't feel like I need that. I just like some dimension in the face. And if you guys watch our vlog channel, then you know that we also, if you're curious if we've, if we've seen it, you know that we watched Bird Box a couple of weeks ago. I'm just finishing powdering because I already see my oil seeping through. This is oily people problems. I feel like you can never powder enough. Bird Box was really good, but it was crazy. Like it was one of those movies where like you love the ending and the way the movie unfolded but the whole concept of the movie was kind of bizarre like the, the like the plot i was like who made this up like it was kind of, kind of crazy but at the same time it was a very moving movie because of sandra bullock that's why i had to watch it because sandra bullock was in it so i knew it was going to be worth watching i love sandra bullock and she did her thing and i was not surprised so i cried Kelsey and I, we both cried in the movie. We teared up a little. I don't know. It's just something. I'm not even a mom yet, but it's just something about like the strength of like a mom and like what they're capable of doing when they don't when they don't have a choice. Like moms just get it done. 
and it was just so like inspiring like when it came to that the other part like when people commit suicide that i was not here for i was like this is nuts but uh the overall like the ending of it was really good and it kept me on the edge of my seat and it was good but still bizarre like i said mixed emotions mixed emotions i feel like I'm all over the place because i haven't moved back to my eyes yet but i'm just gonna go with what i'm doing now which is the face and apply a little bit of highlighter not too much and i'm gonna go in with this highlighter from melt and this is in the shade nova it's highlight slash bronzer i don't know who bronzing with this because it's like shimmery who wants to bronze with that you know um, I feel like it's a highlighter for darker skin tones. That's just what I think. And like I said, I'm only going to do a little because I don't want to be too shimmery. Just because I feel like it accentuates texture. Not that I have a lot, but you know, my skin ain't as flawless as I would like it to be yet. Notice I said yet because I'm going to get there. Okay, so we're going to go under the lower lash line now with the same shades that I used in my crease. I'm applying some mascara on the lower lash line and can I just say that I'm obsessed with this milk mascara it's milk makeup and it's their kush mascara um so this came in a PR package and it came with like a candle and some matches and I'm obsessed so I guess they're referring to weed when they say kush I love this mascara it does not smell like weed if that's what you're wondering I just love how it separates the lashes so well but it also gives them some volume, which I love. I like this when I'm not wearing lashes also. Because, of course, I don't wear lashes on a regular basis, like, all the time. Just when I'm going, like, mostly nighttime or when I'm filming a look. Uh, but daytime, I don't really feel like I need it. Um, like, eyelashes. Unless it's, like, an event or, of some sort. So, I think that's it for the eyes. I don't want to do any lower eyeliner. Because I don't remember having eyeliner at the bottom. If I did, I apologize, but I don't feel like I need it because I feel like this is doing the most on its own at the top. So I'm just not going to add it. So all I have left is lips, uh, which is usually my favorite part because I be doing the most with lips because I never put one thing on them. That's why it's really hard to answer people when they ask me what's on my lips because it's never just one thing. I usually mix my lip combos. That's why it's a combo. So I'm going to be doing this one today. These are all like staple whippies that I alternate between. So this I'm going to be lining with the KKW lip pencil, lip liner in Nude 3. And then I'm going to go in with Ashton from Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. And then last but not least, I'm going to top it off in the middle with Lolita by Kat Von D. guys so that completes this video let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you're going to try it out for yourself or if you're going to try any of the products that i use some of these products you guys have been seeing me use for years in multiple makeup tutorials and some of these are like newer products so let me know if you're going to try anything as usual all the products in this video will be linked down below for you guys if you would like to get anything or try anything so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one